Grease Monkey Josh back again. We're here for another video. You guys be really, really surprised. Video coming for you today. You've been waiting for this a long time. Here we go. Time. This is update part seven of the rock crawler slash mud and lawnmower build. So this is update. Now before I show you the rock crawler, I've moved out of state about two years ago. Moved out of state. Took the rock crawler with me. Um, and it sat in a field pretty much for about a year. And then I moved back up to my home place here and put it back in the garage. And it has sat ever since. Now I've gotten rid of the wheels and the tires for it. So I do have to replace them. And yes, it's a bad thing. But yes, it can be a good thing because we can put bigger stuff on it. We can put like 20 some inches on it, you know, almost 30 inches. So let's go ahead with this build. Well, here is the rock crawler. And it is very, very rusty, but not too rusty. We can wire wheel the whole thing before we go paint it or weld or whatever. So I don't even remember where I left off in the last video. I know I made these plates. I made this plate and that plate. Uh, I done the steering. I think part five. I think I done the steering, and I think I added this bar in part six. This is a brace that goes down to support that, and it has a little tire rack thing on it, so you can put your spare tire on here. Um, it has three quarter inch axles. This is a lawnmower rear end. This is a Spice Squirt 5 speed. Oh, she might need some love. I can't even turn it. Oh. Oh. But she's in desperate need of a law work. I remember in part 6, I did say that the next video will be me doing the clutch and everything. I don't think so in part 7 now. I think what we're going to concentrate on is going to make the shifter to, I want it to start here, come out this way, and then go up this way, and then just have like a little shifter I can flip back and forth like you would on some of the So this is kind of how I want it to be, you know, something like on like these Craftsman mowers, you know, something like that. But I don't want to have it a long range. I want to have them kind of close. And here's something I wanted to tell you all you guys. While I was building this rock crawler. There was something that I was aiming for a little bit. And that was back here. Back here. I'm going to have. Plan on having a gas tank. Right in about here. Not 100% sure. But I want to have a gas tank like right about here. And then, I got all this space. This is the reason why I had the battery so far up. I mean, it's halfway in between almost of this, uh, of the thing. And I'll have the seat right here. It just barely clears it. So, I have all this free. So, I can put like a little toolbox back here. A little cooler, a couple beers in it or something, you know. Something to be really awesome. Um, I have a lot of space, a lot of room. You know, and the spare tire will be right here. In case we need a spare tire. I highly doubt it. It's more for looks than anything. And then uh, up here. I've been debating on it for a long time now. I've been thinking about putting like another little bar there. And putting some fog lights. I've been thinking about it. I'm not too sure. Maybe you guys can throw a comment or two, thinking if that would be a good idea, like put a bar or a piece of flat steel and put two fog lights up there, you know. So, there's um, there's not much room. I kind of designed this really for myself or, you know, somebody would be under my size or something. Now, I'm kind of big. I'm about 250, so... 
I'm kind of big myself. So 250 and under with somebody being um, about 5'11 or under, you know, for length. Um, because you don't have much leg room. Not much leg room. But these bars help, you know, your legs keep in from trees being beaten off of you or whatever, etc. Um, we got to get some gas pedal built. And we got to get the clutch and the brake. But like I said in this video, we're going to start off, we're going to focus on the gear shifter. And we're going to go, after that we'll decide what we're going to do next. Okay, we're going to start off this little chunk of steel. It's an inch and a half wide. Don't worry about how long it is for now. So we are going to trim it down. One thing I'm going to say is, I mark where I'm going to drill the hole so I can go down over the shaft of the um, gear shifter these are really nice to have this is a like a pen pusher thingy punch and just push it and snap and you get your little mark and then you can go ahead and drill your hole so this is a really nice tool to have it's uh automatic center punch is actually the name of automatic center punch We made this bracket and went to install in the transmission, tighten the bolts up nice and tight, and guess what? The transmission is locked up. So, if you can name the camera down, I uh, pulled the transmission out and now we're going to disassemble it. So, we split the transmission in half. And you can just tell all the grimy and the rust. She wasn't fully waterproof. All that water's from out of that. There's some water in here, look. Okay, so uh, I got the transmission finished. I used the top case and the bottom case and all the gears, but the axles and the uh, spider gears in that because it's a locked differential and then I used this so I'd have the long shaft so there we go okay so I got her on and there's a demonstration of it so she moves nice and freely now yep thank you missus all right so I just got some of this welded and everything this is uh day two uh I quit last night it was getting too dark and and it was getting dark in the garage, so I didn't want to video anything. So, I made this right here with uh, two front end steering joints. So, it turned out pretty nice. And here's the action of it. So, I'm assuming that would be reverse. And then, neutral, first, you know, second, etc. So... It works pretty good right there is about the whole way back so I gotta get a bar it runs this way so now I put a little stop a little stop right there so it won't go any farther alrighty better yet I think what we'll do is I found this bracket right here I got this off of a 700 peerless transmission for my racing mower so I think what we're going to do is put a bolt right here and weld it steady. And then just bolt this right here. And this can pivot back and forth. And it has this nice knob and everything. I think this would be a real good thing to have on there. Instead of fabricating my own. the rod made and fabricated and we got this one here so it works pretty good that's pretty much how it works there's only about six inches travel and also I think because this bar being here I don't think that my hand will hit off of like any debris any rocks or anything the only thing that concerns me is it goes in an angle here and this is sticking out a little farther than that. But your tire will be right here. So 
it should be fine. So I found the steering wheel here, and on my fifth episode, I uh, I think I designed this, and it comes apart right here, which is a good thing, so I can pull it all apart. But there's no need for having three pieces. There's the steering wheel, then the collar, and then this piece run down to the whole steering gear assembly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld that solid. So you ain't got to pull one pin out and then everything can pop apart. So let's go ahead so and do that. So what I done now was I took some round stock that I used to build the chassis of it. And I put right here directly right on top where the brackets are, these L brackets for the transaxle. I'm going to put that in there, weld it solid. And then I got some little gussets. Let me show you little gussets. I got a whole bunch of these little gussets that I'm going to take and weld in here. Alright, don't do this at home. Weld without gloves. So there we go, we got that welded in. And uh, we got the little gussets on it too. And it's looking pretty so good. So I'm going to think I'm going to wrap things up for this video. I'm going to go ahead and cut these both these brackets off. This front axle was on a racing mower. So I'm going to cut them off and uh, remount them up about here. And on the next episode, I'm going to do some more bracing. I'm going to brace some of this front end. Run a piece and angle there. And do the same on the other side. Some... Uh, a piece from here to down to the axle and hopefully it don't interfere with the steering mechanism like I said in the next video I'm gonna put the braces up here and also the next thing is we're gonna make a front brace for the transaxle so it don't you know come up in the front and bend those brackets and also we'll try to make the clutch uh, try to design that and have it for the next video. There you video. go. Part 7 of the rock crawler slash mud and lawnmower build. I know you guys have been waiting a long time. I'm glad you guys stuck through and watched this video for me. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.